Hello, my name is Claude Ginsberg and I'm a fluid scientist at MSC Software. I'd like to discuss how failures in helicopter flight control systems can be simulated with a combination of kinematics and lump parameter simulation. The pilot control systems of a helicopter differ from a fixed wing aircraft in that they are much more complex. The pilot has a stick or cyclic control to maneuver the aircraft and there's also an additional lever, called the collective, that moves the helicopter up or down without pitching, rolling, or yawing motions. Helicopters have a complicated system of mechanical parts, hydraulic and electrical actuators, and electronics that translate the pilot commands from the cyclic and collective controls into the actual motion of the rotor blades. This control system is unique to rotary-winged aircraft. The reliability and performance of the control system is critical because helicopters are conditionally unstable. What I mean by that is, without the control system, an aircraft cannot remain in the air, unlike, say, a jet, which can glide in a stable fashion even without its control system active. Now, suppose an accident occurs. Data shows that a helicopter, during a seemingly normal flight, suddenly executes an extreme maneuver the pilots lose control and the aircraft goes down. Inspection of the wreckage shows some suspicious tiny metal chips in a hydraulic fluid valve. How can we establish that these chips could have caused the control system to fail and the aircraft to crash? With MSC Atoms, we can construct a mechanical model of the control system and predict the movements of the valve controls that are due to the pilot's stick motions. This software model can then be coupled with MSC Easy 5, a controls and system simulation software. We can put in as much detail as we need to model the hydraulic valves and actuators response to the pilot's command. Both of these models will run simultaneously as a co-simulation to predict the motion of the rotor blades. Finally, the rotor blade motion can be correlated with the aircraft motions yaw, pitch, roll, and vertical lift. We now have a way to compare the behavior of the aircraft to the accident flight data. MSC Easy 5 is ideally suited to conduct parametric studies of likely scenarios. For instance, if one of the control actuators has leaky seals and a chip suddenly blocks a valve passage, how does the aircraft respond? After a key valve passage is blocked at one second, the control actuators begin a rapid abnormal movement which causes the aircraft to pitch up. The pilot grabs the stick and tries to exert control with all his strength, but he is unable to bring the aircraft back to a reasonable attitude until it's too late. These types of simulations can be conducted before an accident happens to determine the reliability of a complex mechanism without having to run a lot of expensive and dangerous tests. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about how simulation can help you predict the behavior of similar complex systems, please go to www.mscsoftware.com.